Welcome to my channel and I'm here to inspire you, give you crochet advice and help you along with your next project. If you enjoyed this pattern please give me a thumbs up or even comment so I can gauge your interest. It helps me to know what to film next. I'm not very formal. Here's today's zinger. Oh this one's a doozy today. This tutorial is here to help you and when in doubt always pull out <laughs> your written pattern. Okay let's get on with today's tutorial. <laughs> Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. As those my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we are going to work on the Sophia cowl just like you see. Now this was using Red Heart Boutique Treasure way back in the day but some of us still have this yarn around. This was one of my favorites when I was back with Red Heart many, many years ago. Now this particular one is going to start off with a foundation double crochet which I very rarely use and what we need to do is that we need to do 150 stitches in uh, in a row in order to go around using the foundation double crochet. So if you prefer not to do that you can always chain 150 and then attach it and then chain up 3 and do a double crochet all around. Make sure that there's 150 stitches in that and then you can carry on officially to round number 2. But I am going to demonstrate it the way that it's suggesting. If you prefer this to be a smaller or larger size the multiples are 6. So every time there's six double crochets that means that there is a multiple going on for you. So if you're chaining uh, instead of chaining 150 you can chain six, 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 and when you're satisfied with it just join it to the end create that ring and then carry on from there. So the multiple is six. So let's begin working on the foundation double crochet section just to begin. The pattern states to keep a little bit of a longer tail and I guess we'll figure that out later and what I want you to do is create a slip knot at this point. I am substituting with the 6.5 millimeter size K with Karen Colorama yarn instead. We're now going to begin and we're going to do the foundation double crochet. So let's take it slowly on how this stitch is done. You are going to chain 3 from where you are. So 1, 2 and 3. Are you ready? Third chain from the hook, the very beginning one right here is where you're going to aim. So in order to go there you have to yarn over first and go into the back hump of the chain which is the third one away. Just go in and you see that there's three loops in the hook. This is not traditionally double crochet yet because what we need to do is that we need to yarn over and pull through the one loop only and now it's regular double crochet. So yarn over, pull through 2 and then yarn over, pull through 2. So this stitch here and this stitch are acting as individual stitches. So there's two stitches that you see. So let's begin to do the next foundation double crochet. To do the next one you are going to yarn over and you are going to go into this spot right here. You see it right there and it consists of two strands. So when you go into that you're gonna go right into that spot. That was that chain one that we went or sorry that was that one loop that we went through by itself. That's what that was created with. So you're going to yarn over pull through there but you're not done. You're going to yarn over, pull through one loop. That's the new point of where the next stitch will go and then you finish this off as regular double crochet. So yarn over and pull through two and two and now you've got three here. I'll show you one more time. So this is where you're going right here. So yarn over and go here. Yarn over, pull through that yarn over, pull through one loop and then treat it like a regular double crochet from this point. So yarn over, pull through two and yarn over, pull through two. And now you can see four double crochets. This is a foundation double crochet. So yarn over and in, yarn over, pull through, pull through one loop, pull through two and two. So what I'm going to do for you is that I am just going to do a smaller swatch. Just keep it in my multiples of 6 and then I'll be successful in order to get that to go through and I will be back in a moment with just a smaller one but you can go to 150 if you wish. You decide what suits you best. 
So I now have a total of 24 foundation half double crochets and I can divide 24 by the number 6, right? So therefore this will work in the pattern. As long as it's a multiple of 6, you can have any size that you wish. Once you have this done, what I need you to do is just grab the beginning of it and make sure that there is no weird twist to it. Okay, if you want an infinity twist, you could do that but it won't work for this pattern. But what you wanna do is just twist it around and I want you to join it to the beginning chain two right here. This is considered a chain two and that's where you're going to join it here. And then you're gonna yarn over, pull through and through and there is that. So this is left open so that's probably what that long tail is for just to secure it and we're now going to officially go on to round number two. We're now going to work ourselves in a complete round that you see. Obviously it will be bigger for you but this is big enough for me to demonstrate the stitch work that is a repeat going around. Right where you're sitting I need you to chain up one and right where it's joined that's your first stitch and you're going to single crochet just like so and then I need you to chain three. So one, two, three. To do the cluster stitch you are going to go into the third one away and you are going to wrap the hook and you are going to go into the assigned stitch. And you are going to yarn over and pull through and then yarn over pull through two and hold it. Don't finish that stitch. And I want you to do that one more time. So yarn over into the same stitch, pull through, pull through two and hold it. You should see a total of three loops before you're gonna finish and to finish this you're gonna yarn over and pull through all three loops and then you're going to move on. So to move on you're going to chain three. So one, two, three. Skip the next two foundation double crochets and go into the third one away and single crochet. And we're going to repeat this all the way around. So let's repeat one more time. So chain three, skip two, go to the third and do the cluster. So wrap and in, pull through, pull through two and hold and do it one more time. So wrap and in, pull through, pull through two and hold. Three loops on the hook, pull through all three and then chain three to move on. Skipping two and single crocheting into the next. So you're just gonna go in this conti uh, continuous repeat pattern all the way around and I will see you near the end of the round because we need to make sure that you finish it properly and I'll be right back in a moment. So I'm coming close to where I would finished. So I'm just finishing here with the cluster I'm keeping in my counts and I'm near to the end of this. So after the last cluster goes in I need you to chain three and then you are just going to slip stitch to the beginning single crochet to where you had started. So the, each one of these around there was a single crochet cluster, single crochet cluster and so before I did the join there was a cluster here in order to keep it in balance. Let's begin round number three. Right where we're sitting we're going to chain a total of five for round number three. So just chain five. So one, two, three. That's a double crochet and then four and five is a chain two space. Remember that. What I need you to do is come to the next cluster and in the next cluster you're going to single crochet. Okay. Now you're going to chain two and in the next single crochet you're going to do a double crochet. Do you get it? So now that this is how we started so we're gonna chain two and single crochet into the top of the cluster and then chain two and double crochet into the single crochet. And I need you to do that all the way around and I'll see you at the end of round number three in a moment. So I'm coming all the way around. This is the last cluster before the join. So I'm chaining two and I want to attach it to the third chain up from where I started to make that as officially a double crochet. That. Okay and that was round number three. Let's move on to round number four next. Now round number four is strictly a double crochet round. We just gotta make sure that it's the right counts going in. So I need you to chain three which will be the first double crochet that's at the join. You have a chain two space here so there needs to be two double crochets into that chain space. So we have one 
and two. There's a single crochet by itself. Make that also a double crochet. Another chain two space. So there's two double crochets that will go there. And then here the top of the double crochet. Make that a double crochet. So you're just filling in the space work. Okay so chain two. There must be two double crochet. There's a single crochet so that must be a double crochet as well. Another chain two space. So that has to be two double crochet. And then you have your double crochet which will stay as a double crochet. And you just gotta do that all the way around. So you're just kinda filling in the spacing that you have. Please do this all the way around. This is round number four. So I'm coming up to the end of number four. And this is the last chain two space before the join, uh, before you did the join. So fill that space in with two double crochet. And then you're just going to join that to the top of the first chain three to finish it. So all we need to do now, and it almost looks like a butterfly in some way, that all we need to do is to repeat now rounds number two through four one more time. So let me get you started on round number two. But you can reverse back the video for the video chapters to begin. But I'll just quickly show you round number two once again. So round number two was those clusters and those single crochets that you had. So right where you're sitting you're going to chain up one and place one single crochet into that same spot as the join. If you recall you have to chain three and then skip two and go to the third. See how it's gonna line up with the other one that's already there? And you're gonna make that as a cluster. chain three, skip only two and go to the third. See how it's lining up? Everything's gonna line up for you. So you just need to go round on number two just the way you did it before. So you are going to then do your rounds number two through four just one time and then you're ready to go uh, and fasten off. What I'm going to do is just show you how to fasten off your yarn once you have that completely done. To fasten off your yarn all you would need to do is just trim it once you have the size you want. If you want your cowl to be bigger by all means you can go bigger. Just don't cut your yarn now that I say that after. And all I wanna do is just put it through a tapestry needle and I wanna turn it to the back of the cowl. So to the inside and just weave it in and out. Now some people complain that this stuff falls out. So if you can split the fibers things have a hard time falling out when that happens. And uh, God forbid you actually have to open this back up if, in case you miss, you, you need the yarn for something else. So um, this is really kind of, kind of permanent at least to my opinion. Everybody has a different experience right? So you wanna weave back and forth the total three times but you still have to worry about that beginning tail that we left in the beginning. So you're gonna wanna put that on there because it's still open. So maybe that's the only disadvantage with doing half double crochets for the foundation but ultimate or sorry with double crochet foundation but ultimately it's not a deal breaker and I'm just going to whip stitch it across to bring it together. And then I'm gonna go back to the inside of it and just secure it on the inside. And again it's like before just weave it in to the work a total of three times back and forth. And it's a nice idea. So it is a beautiful uh, cowl. Unfortunately the yarn got discontinued. It was one of my favorites at one point. And uh, sometimes things happen like that. And uh, just because it's my favorite doesn't mean it was yours. But uh, it was really quite fun. And you can actually really start to see the stitch work. Hopefully. And that's what we have today. This is Sophia Cowl. And hopefully you have a great day. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.